So my name is kind of a bit unusual being Loretta. I know it's, you know it, and, but like people yeah. can't pronounce it. They just call me Loretta. And it's a pure Irish thing, you know. They just, they never heard the name Loretta before, so they just bash off another name that sounds familiar and that'll do you, you know. It's like I have a friend called Eva. And I was with her the other day and somebody said, how are you Eva? And you're like, you know, is yeah. that okay? But anyway, big news. You're going to change your name. Call. Big no, news. Got a phone call the other day from Audrey. Oh. Hello, Audrey. Well, hello. <laughs> That's what she said to me. What does she think of the adulation, the adulation now that she's getting on this She's party? loving it. Yeah, she's loving yeah. it. Yeah, she's there's no, no such thing as adulation. But That's she it. likes it anyway. <laughs> she thinks it's good, the, adu- the adulation. The adulation. The adulation, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, uh, but so her father owns a lot of show jumping horses. Mm. They're a show jumping family. Yes. And he rang her the other day and he's got a new horse. And guess what the horse's name is going to be? Larita. Yes. Really? Woo! I am going to have a horse named after me. Wow. Yeah. And are you flattered by that? Yeah, I'm so excited about it because he said this horse is going to be big. Big, big, big. And Top she's really jumper. feisty and she's like, so he said, she, he reminded, she reminded him of me. So he called the horse after me and he says the horse is going to be going to the Olympics. The horse is going to be massive. So the big thing is, the only thing in the contract is that I'm allowed to go to all social events where the horse is going to be racing yeah. or jumping. It's good to be, um, Isn't that really good? Have you ever had a horse called after number you? Two, Tommy. Horse Lorita. Are you, are you allowed to give horses just a name like that? Like, well, you could, yeah. I've never heard of a horse called Frank or Alan or Mary. But that's because everyone's got those names. But why? So could you just call a horse Lorita? Yeah. yeah that's a lovely horse. Well, a, it has a, to be a called fine, a fine, Lorita. A fine filly and, and, and competitor contestant number two. And the puissance here is riding John Flaherty. You can't, you can't. Here comes Captain Conpower. <laughs> He's riding Lorita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. I love it. Yeah, she ri- and Lorita here, a four-year, five-year-old filly, get, filly, filly out of of Bay Chaparral. <laughs> uh, yeah. And next into the ring is Lorita. <laughs> Lorita by Alex no. Duffy for <laughs> Ireland. And this is it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think you're allowed to just give a horse a you woman's can. name. You can, you, you can. can. You can give a horse It has name. to be. Uh, but my name isn't what, the same what you as everyone else. Kerry Gold else's. Buttercups. It yeah. is son of Drum Shambo or Evening Sunrise no. or no. Petals on Me Forehead. You're or, just jealous because nobody's called a horse Lareda. Tommy Tiernan. <laughs> Would be a bad old name in furnace. <laughs> and but here comes the Ruby Wall. She's riding Tommy Tiernan <laughs> on the outside lane. And it's Tommy Tiernan on the outside. Yeah, so it's brilliant. I'm very excited That's about it. I'll keep you updated on the progress of Lorita. And uh, I'm just glad that there's a, there's two of us in the well world now. Well done. It's nice to have um, you. Can I ask you about your name? Whose idea was your name? My name is two names put together. Laura and Rita. No, Laura and Ita. Laura and Ita. Lorita. Because yeah, but my you, yeah, you could get you could get Rita there as well. Yes, but I'm telling you, yes, me where my name provide. I'm Lorita. A, it means little Laura in Spanish, so a lot of people think my name is oh, Spanish. Oh, the Lord! Yeah, yeah. Oye, Lorita, get it, and then, and then Hola, it. Lorita. Yeah. Now, now we're seeing it. You could be outside a nightclub in Torremolinos with Audrey at three yeah. in the morning. Hola, Lorita. Donde está Audrey? Audrey está aquí. Yeah. Ven a mi oficina. <laughs> Absolutely, and then does that translate into step, step into, into my, my office? office. Um, so whose idea was your name? Lorita. Well, the, we had, there was this nun in the family called Ita, Sister Ita, I think years back. And they wanted, they maybe had designs on me that I would be possibly a nun, which failed miserably. Sorry, hang on. They, they, they thought you might be a nun uh, the minute you were born. Yeah, because there's nuns in our family. Okay. There's a long, long, there's a str- long line of long nuns. Stro- a strong line of nuns and priests in our house oh wow. yeah yeah so you know in the next generation enter yeah. Lorita sister Rita but then they put Laura t- Laura in front of it and then they just come oh, would that be a thing they do much in Mayo like get one name and just stick it on to the end of another one <laughs> I don't know Have you? do you know anyone else called a uh, name that's no, well like you've got Rose Mary Rosemary yeah I haven't put an awful <laughs> lot of thought into it who, who, <laughs> um, who do you look like who do I look like yeah um, I don't know, like my... Like which bits of of you now would be similar to... A nun? No, to bits of, of people in your family. <laughs> I'd look like my, I look like my older sister. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. And then I look like my mother. Wow. Which, which, which bits of you look like your mother? 
Uh, my face, maybe. Your face, maybe. Yeah. And what part? Like, is your eyes, your nose, your chin, your forehead, maybe your cheeks? Maybe my nose and my you, eyes. Your nose, even your mother's nose and your eyes. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. But people must have said you've grown up. Oh, you're especially the mother. Yeah. Uh, the kind. All right. Your know sisters. I. As you, what is? What have you got? The same eyes and nose bridge. Me and my sister look very like. I have a problem with it because she's eight years older than me, and people say, "Oh, you're just like twins." Yes. Mm. Thankful. But I want to get physical at which you now. Is, oh, which, so physical. Which, which bits? Physic- which bits? Uh, do, do you have, is there bits you look like your dad? Yeah, probably. Where? Actually, do you know what? I have the same colour eyes as my father. There you so go. me and my father have brown eyes. Yes. And then the rest, nobody else in the family has that. Wow. And would you have the same forehead now as people in your family? I'd have the same forehead as my father. What, what yeah, were the two? Same, same colour eyes and same forehead. And about, say the sh- shape of your feet. They would, they would be now. I get them from my father's side as well. Your father's side, now. Yeah. So there's a bigger probably. The how more, would you describe my your feet? mother had a size seven foot and I have a size five foot. So yes. I wouldn't take, wouldn't say You're I've taken them from tiny her. Tiny dancer. Yeah. But, and does your father have big feet? Well, size eight or nine, like right, a, just a general man size. Tidy feet. enough for a man eight or nine. Yeah, just normal size. Yeah, yeah. Right. Wow. <laughs> Wait, who do you look like? I would have my mother's nose. Just her nose. But yeah, and I would have the same. Uh, Kind of, uh, I've right, with the beard now the way it is and the the bald head, I do look an awful lot like my father. Why is there's your father an, bald? Yeah, there's, there's an awful bang at Kevin Tiernan the off me. Grey beard. The Apparently, if beard. your father's bald, then you're going to be bald as a young man. Are you not fully no, not, bald, not, not factually, not factually. Yes, no. factually. No, because sometimes later on when they get older. No, because sometimes you get the, your like I would have four sons, and I would say one of them definitely won't go bald. Definitely won't. You One just, of them only. Yeah, you can just tell by the, the small the, percentage the, the type them. of their hair. Right. But I, I would have my mother's nose, and I'd have my mother's chin, and I'd have my father's. Do you see when? I, do you see when I do that? With your eyes. Yeah, when I when I kind squint. of when I squint in kind of suspicion. You'd look like your father. Oh, my father was always doing that. My father would be sitting at the dinner table, and <laughs> somebody, somebody would Tommy. say something, and he just fucking squint over at you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I'm, I'm an you. awful look like my father. I You'd look, look mostly like your father. Look, yeah, you, Hector. Who do you? you well, I'm you, looking at you when you've glasses on all the time doing the podcast. And then when I see you Saturday night, you've no glasses. Yeah, why on. So is I that? don't fucking know and whether you should be wearing them. Hector. And they look like something from 1977. Parkinson, fucking Dave, fucking He's Alan. Not... Why do you not wear them on the fucking show? Because you can't wear glasses on the television. Take them off till I see. So you your can't eyes. even see who you're. Take them off on the. Pod- and you've got an earring as well. I didn't know you had an earring. He's the earring in since he was six. I got that done when I was fucking 1988. It's bet into him like an old bit of. A little bit of wire. Yeah. Have you seen it? He probably made look it himself. Look, look now, he's cr- look at the eyes. He's cross eyed now. Look at the eyes. I was after I was after seeing Bow Wow Wow on top of the pops go wild, go wild, go wild in the country, and I got my ears pierced. Yeah, um, but who do you look like? You the you. The, I, think I think of my mother's colorings and my mother's my mother's expressions. My mother, it's more the lark inside the tomb side than my father. My brothers. Freddie and Mark would have all me fathers. Dark hair. Dark hair, good looking, good luck. I'm the only redhead in the village in my house. <laughs> and, and, and they have all the darkness. They have all the, the, the sallow skin and I have the freckles and the, 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 I have the Galway in me. You're they, pure Trina. I'm Trina. I have her, no, I, I have her, her nose, thin nose. Fingers. I, Whose fingers do you have? Fingers. <laughs> uh, I think I have four fingers. I'm only size seven. I'm seven and a half, but I pushed myself to a 42. Yeah. I was 37 years of age. I ordered me for size eights. So who's who? who I'm size who, seven and foot. Who else had size seven feet? and a half? And then I grew a little bit more when I was 33, 34. <laughs> and who <laughs> else did your feet family? grow? How could your feet grow when you're 37? Just I got a growth spurt when I was 32, and uh, I have size eight now, 42. 42 and my yeah, eldest who boy, else in your family has we've all small feet in my family D- uh, dad, daddy has small feet dad Mickey Hogan has small feet did he my wife is size 4 4, four and a half midget feet <coughs> she's got uh, she can go to Elvery's and buy off the kids sections it's great <laughs> I got you I got you a lovely pair of runners look yeah size 4 uh-huh. <laughs> six months <laughs> 12 euro for a, 12 euro for a pair of runner Adidas run yeah size 4 they're a bit tight yeah. Oh yeah. do all your wife's shoes have straps <laughs> Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember bringing your children in to get the first ever shoes they buy? Oh, oh look at them! They go into the special shoe shop, and your your one is putting her feet in the thing. You put the feet in. Oh, he's a big boy now. Look at that, yeah. And then as they get older, they. My sister had to wear special shoes. Did you ever have to wear them? We didn't, but special shoes. Oh, you know, growing up in the eighties, like she the in, she the in bent feet. Yeah. 
She the fallen arches. Do you remember them? Oh, that was, and that was a good show. I just love that. <laughs> <laughs> and she used to have to get those awful. Oh my god, we used to take awful piss out of her. Like, she used to have to get the big black shoes with the big hard soles and the big ar- <laughs> inbuilt arches in them. And like, she used to have to wear. They look like hard, you know, like the tap dancing shoes. Yeah, they kind of yeah. look like that. Like a strap over the white oh, sock. Full, and like, honestly, it was like medicated shoes. Like, if if we could get shoes, like you think you used to get them on the. So she, on the medical card like she had yes. to get shoes on that imagine how awful we used to absolutely and then there was um, I'm sure if this can be included but the, there was a special bus a special school bus that used to come and collect a neighbour of ours Yeah. and every morning when the bus would be we'd just, wait sorry, just to be sure there was nothing there was nothing wrong with the bus no the bus was fine it was called a special bus, but we know it, the way, yeah. Yeah, so it would go. St. Dalton School for special people was yeah, down the road from us, yeah. And we'd we'd, we'd see uh, we'd see the kids, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bus, yeah. wasn't a great name for it, like. But anyway, it used to come out past our house in the morning, just before our bus come, and every single morning, my brother'd be like, "Katrina, your bus is here," <laughs> and she'd go running out of the bus, with the shoes on her, like the poor thing got just, just God love her every time, every time. <laughs>